Welcome to the Pokemon Pursuit. Today is going to be a wild day. This is the score of the series. I've got a sweet collection by lined up. I'm going to a couple game stores and even some stores that I've never been to before and I think we can get some huge scores. I'm building my dream Pokemon collection with every single game, all the vintage cards, and so much more. But I'm buying everything only using profits with items that I flip from game stores, collections, and so much more. But I want to update you on something we bought in episode episode one of this Pokemon Pursuit series, and that was this binder filled with vintage Pokemon cards. I paid $500 for it, found some great cards, and after further inspection, they ended up being in really great condition. So I paid $22 a card to get them graded through SGC. I did this because SGC is reputable, they're a great grader, and their return times are extremely fast at this price point. So those cards are back. It included a Shining Gyarados, Shining Tyranitar, among other high-end Japanese and English hollows. I kind of picked like the best six, sent them off to grading for SGC. SGC is a legitimate grader. I would have loved to do PSA, but it would have taken 120 days or more. SGC, I got them back in three weeks. And I'm very excited to see what we got. I'm gonna try to take these out facing down. We'll go one at a time. First up, we've got a Japanese card. I'm just gonna go up, ready? Nice, 8.5, near mint, mint plus. The Umbreon, beautiful, beautiful hollow right there. That's solid, 8.5, we'll definitely take it. Oh, nice, a nine on Misty's Gyarados. I cannot complain, really I was hoping for eights or better. That's very awesome. Uh, and that will go in my um, set for that one. That's gym, gym challenge. All right, so the shining cards are still left. Those are the big ones. And then one other card, which I'm not sure what the other one is, is that one, Tyranitar from Neo Discovery 8.5. Again, that's a win, I'll take it. I'm kind of nervous for these ones. Uh, the Shiny Tyranitar and Gyarados. Bang, 9.5, 9.5 on Shining Tyranitar. Holy cow, that is incredible. And Gyarados is next. 9.5 on that one. Wow. Well, that binder was a good buy. <laughs> um, that is insane. Uh, SGC 9.5. Like, I wonder what those would get in a PSA. Sweet mercy. The two best cards got the two best grades. And I would argue the third best card got the third best grade. So 8.5s, 9, and two 9.5s. That's a huge win, a great way to start this episode, but now let's roll into it. We're gonna pause right there for a moment because you guys are gonna wanna hear what I have to say. These three systems right here, all brand new. So you got the beautiful Pokemon Switch OLED, the God of War, Ragnarok, PS5. People are loving this game and the Series X. I'm giving away all three huh? in one giant whatnot auction. All three of them, one night, it's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be on December 16th. We'll probably hang out from 5 p.m. Eastern all the way up until midnight Eastern. So that's going to be wild. Uh, check out our WhatNot referral code if you're not on there yet. People have told us uh, you guys are more fun on WhatNot. We love hanging out with you there. Uh, and it really is fun. It's interactive. It's, it's constant, amazing items. So we're also going to be doing a $30,000 auction. All the heavies, everything from the new barn. We're going to be moved in at that point. We're going to do a massive, massive auction with so many items. Buy it now and give away all three of these, plus probably a couple hundred more games as well. So use that code if you're not on WhatNot. Bookmark that show. It's going to be wild. You get 10 free dollars if you use the code and it'll help us out, we'd really appreciate it. But before that auction, we're gonna be doing this one. So December 6th, Tuesday afternoon, 1 p.m. Eastern. Really good deals will happen. So we're gonna have dozens, hundreds of manuals like NICE, N64, uh, Game Gear Genesis, NES, SNES, uh, really anything that you guys want, we'll shuffle through and you'll say, you want that manual? We'll start it out, we'll run it. High-end Pokemon Southern Island set's gonna be their retro 90s toys. Really nice high-end Sega Genesis games back here, some heavies. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 for SNES. That's like a $150 game, we're gonna be doing that. Hobby Shop items from Hobby Shop Ron. So this is gonna be an auction on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. We got a lot going on, but you gotta bookmark all of them, use that $10 code, 
Uh, check out the Buy It Now sections on our shows. We usually have yeah, Buy It Now, so you can buy them at any time. And guys, don't forget it. December 16th, the evening. It's going to be wild. We're going strong for seven hours. It's going to be the biggest auction we've ever done. It's the grand finale of the year, our last auction of the year. you got to be there. Try to win one of these systems. It's going to be crazy. So we'll see you there. Now, let's get back to the video. We started our day by making a purchase from somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. Making a deal in the parking lot right now. This guy, guy set it up on Facebook. Epic. It's going to be an epic start to the day. Now, this originally started in our trade post for a PS5 for a bunch of Sega games and GameCube games. But a couple days before the meet, his brother actually bought him a PS5. So he said instead of a PS5, he'll just take $500 for everything. Now, he didn't want to be filmed, but for $500, you have got to see what we got. The deal is done. The guy was awesome. Wow. He's great. Heck of a deal, brother. That stuff is clean. Yeah. It, I can't even all, believe that. I, I am on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Pursuit, starting off hot today. All right, I'm going to show you everything we got. Game Gear games. So many good very, ones. Very, very nice. Like $50 one. Yeah, look, uh, uh, look at this. Tempo Junior. If you find this complete in box, you got yourself a $350 game on bid. Put it up for $500. Um, <laughs> That's he, a $50 cartridge. <laughs> yes. He threw in a Brawler 64 uh, controller, which we can easily get, what, 30, 40 bucks for? Yep. That was nice. Um, money is essentially back on these two games. Roughly yeah. 300, roughly 200, and these are very nice. They're I don't pristine. think we would take anything less than that. This even has the poster. Um, all these games, some are complete, some not. We have a master system with a game. Didn't even have this. What is it? R Type? Nice. <laughs> Another solid little ad. Uh, this is a Game Gear Master System player thing. Not worth too much, maybe like 10, 15 bucks. And this is a modded, it's like LCD screen, extra Beautiful. super long battery, all that. In total, I think we will make about 1400 1400 So minus 500 and that's like very conservative still. And that's crazy. And all that, so we're we doing all right now. $900, 900 to work with. 900 plus in the pokey bank. Oh my gosh. Yeah, plus whatever we had going into <laughs> I really hope we find something big today. After a smashing success and a ton of value added to Poke Bank, it was time to go to a Goodwill, some game stores, and even some stores that I've never been to before. So we're gonna hit up Goodwill and see if we can find anything here. I sure hope so. It says they're open. Looks like they got a bunch of manga. I'm pretty sure that's a good buy at 529. Check this out, Sky Guy. I don't know if they're priced at yet. I haven't pulled one out, but. Oh, oh ooh, eat Inuyasha. Bunch of, bunch of manga. These are popular. Oh, they're ones. five bucks each. These are, these but are still, popular. It's worth let's, looking into. Let's I'll profit five dollars on this sell and that on eBay, so that's a win. But what about the Fox Sports Robot Sky Guy? Five dollars. Uh, <laughs> probably no hollers. Oh, oh. <laughs> forty bucks. Brand new. Where's that ninety-nine mm -hmm. cent one there? Boxes damage. I was on bid. Twenty bucks used. Just that figure is twenty. Yes, yeah, five bucks. Okay. So I think it's so, forty bucks if it's truly that's new. With shipping on top. Yeah. It's got a little bit of box damage. It still looks like we we could sell it for twenty in a heartbeat plus shipping. Oh, it's twenty-five, not five. Okay. Never Pass. <laughs> it's our first Pokemon sighting. It's a Squirtle. And you can eat him. <laughs> I love Pez so much. What? <gasps> Best used before 2025. Dude, it's still good. It's still good. Uh, comment if I should eat it. You always got to check the calculator section for those Texas Instruments calculators. Or uh, None here today, but I do still find those at Goodwill. <laughs> or for the one that's worth $1,000. Yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> you get real lucky. So I've looked at all of these. And um, I should check that out. Yeah. There is a really fun Lord of the Rings PC game. Wii Sports, Wii Sports. Uh, no. Well. True. <laughs> Goodwill was kind of a bust. I did make out with $5 in profit from that game, but I'm excited to see what's going to be at the game store. When I'm at a game store, I'll use the Amazon Seller app to scan the games and see what they're netting after fees on Amazon. Win, 
winner complete. It's a good one to look for here. So I make sure to have all of the fees, shipping costs, and everything dialed in correctly so that when I look at the items, I can make sure I'm making, in most cases, a minimum of a 50% margin. Meaning, if I'm buying it for $10, I wanna make sure I can sell that for at least $15 after fees and profit, net profit, that $5 on a $10 purchase. They got like a bunch of sealed games up here. I'm seeing NHL 94 on Sega CD. Pretty iconic title. There's two of those, actually. Um, Joe Montana Football, Echo Tides of Time. The price kind of high, but might pick up a couple of those. And maybe the Sonic 2 for five if it's complete. Not bad, this is a nice little case. There's NFL 2K1 sealed, Frogger, all those are sealed yeah, too. Yeah. Goodness gracious. That's how you get six Pokemon Mystery Dungeons yeah. in one location. $90. Uh, there's nice. eight there. But we might get that Pokemon uh, video for 13 the Johto yeah. Charizard. Yeah. And I don't have it, so. <laughs> we need, it's Pokemon. Might as well get the videos. This is a Pokemon game. Yes. <laughs> Pokemon video, but. A Pokemon video game. <laughs> <laughs> talked to the employee who said somebody just brought in a bunch of insanely clean ps2 games and they are like it's like they've just been opened or never really touched the cases are glossy That's it feels cool. like i just took it out this 135 it's kind of steep but in this condition i think i'll pick it up and all of these up here were just brought in <laughs> After leaving the Dish Traders, we ended up with enough gains to be able to add to the Pokebank about $213 in profit. We also bought this Pokemon GBA video for $13, so that'll be added to the collection and we'll actually bank $200 in profit towards the Pokebank. Now we're off to a hole in the wall hobby shop. I've never been here before, but rumor has it that there might be some nice Pokemon cards and maybe even some video games. <laughs> around for a bit but honestly we're just immediately drawn back to the display cases because we saw a bunch of Charizards. I see where the crease is on that one. Oh I see it right right up here. It, right it, it up could there. be the case. Mm, the case. Yeah, it's got like, I mean, just kind of regular minor. Since we have a lot to work with in the Pokebank, I decided that this would be a really good time to drop some cash on some vintage cards and hopefully make a connection and a relationship and a good first impression on this store owner while walking out with some great deals on some great cards. Now at shops like this, cash is king. Mom and pop shops especially seem to love cash. They get immediate satisfaction of the deal happening. They don't have to wait months or whatever for the credit card thing to process. So cash is king. That's a great tool to negotiate and he did appreciate cash in this instance. Every time I know that I might be buying a lot of stuff, I always start with the items that I can pay the most for. So maybe ask for $5 off of something that's marked at 50, get it for 45, very reasonable. He'll make the deal, pay cash, and then say, well, how about on these three, you give me a little bit more of a discount and kind of feel it out from there. And it worked out really well in this case, cash spoke and the deals were rolling. Okay, we're done at the card store. Card shop was absolutely insane. The guy was fantastic, like everything you could dream for in a card shop. Yep. Worked with us, was very happy to make deals. Cash talked, I've got about 20% off overall and the prices yeah. were already pretty reasonable. So this mm -hmm. was a dream come true. Starting with two first edition Shadowless Rares. They were marked at 30 apiece, Electabuzz and Dugtrio, got them for 50 and they're both in great condition. Yep, then we got these, we got a Porygon, first edition, Shadowless. Oh, oh, oh first edition. First edition, Electrode, first edition, Shadowless, all for 50. Yep, so that was 63 down to 50. Then the Legendary Collection, I wanna complete this set. I love these cards, they're some of my favorites, bless you. A Nidal King and Primate is now down here. But in the meantime, I got a Dark Charizard, 60 bucks. That is a Team Rocket. It is hollow. It's just a solid card. It looks really good. I got a Heracross first edition near mint and the Steelix from the same set. Both hollows from Neo Genesis. 
100 bucks. They were marked at 130. That was my last play. This is the score of the series. Oh my goodness. This is E3 Pikachu. It says creased. We cannot find it for the life of us. But this thing has the potential to be worth up to $1,000. We got it for 220? 215. Oh, 215. 215. Even, 215. even better. Use this as a negotiation piece in the first one. We're, we're trying to figure out like what are we missing here? But this is a crazy rare Red Cheeks E3. Mm -hmm. The E3 stamp is right here if you can't see if that's not coming through. So rare. Yeah, we took some screenshots of it if we haven't popped them up already. $545 all in. Potential value on that lot, probably like 1200 bucks. If this Pikachu gets 800 yeah. Profit, you mean, right? I'm saying, oh. I'm saying total value. I'm just saying like conservative, oh, oh. super yeah. conservative, you know, $1,200 value. This is the big ticket, but everything else we was still like very well priced. Yeah. So now we're going to go into a really uh, interesting game shop and hopefully find some stuff. Yep. And we'll we'll keep you updated. <laughs> Love to find a Pokemon Crystal, something complete for Game Boy like that. Or Ruby. Yeah, Ruby. Need both Ruby, of those. Ruby, Ruby, so Ruby, hopefully Ruby. they have them here. I swear we didn't come into this store before we said I'm looking for those two. <laughs> Crystal and Ruby. 600 and 300, but they look clean. Pokemon Puzzle is another one I need uh, to have complete glorious Pokemon section. We didn't really record much because we wanted to make a connection and the music in the store was really loud, but there was a lot to take in. The inventory was really nice, but it was kind of priced accordingly. Honestly, kind of similar to the way I would price if I was a store owner. But while I was chatting with the owner, Sky Guy was kind of searching for some games and ended up finding a couple profitable games that we could sell on Amazon. And soon after, the store owner brought out something that I really did not expect. All right, here at the swap meet and found something that I did not expect. <laughs> did you see this? No, I didn't. Shadowless? Oh. Nice at Charizard. I mean, it's heavily played, it's in rough shape, but <laughs> when you see a Shadowless Charizard, you buy a Shadowless Charizard. Still a bad boy. Fossil Fighters, Rockman 3, we're gonna get those. And we were looking at Pokemon Crystal. Maybe another day. 600 bucks, very nice condition. Pokemon Ruby's 300, those are like, that's about right, that's about what they go for. But I'm just not ready, to, quite ready to pull the trigger. Pokemon Puzzle League's 130, we're gonna keep these in mind. Who knows if they'll still be here later, but. Boom, gotta love Fossil Fighters, super minty. 35 bucks, Good we'll be deal. able to, yeah, do super well on Amazon. This is taped up, shut, but it's complete, complete. super fresh, Rock Band 3, hard to find. I think for any system, getting, this getting is pretty harder. good. Yeah, it's usually like at least worth a little bit. Pay 20, the, it's pretty high on Amazon right now, so it shouldn't I think I got a screenshot, 20. maybe around 70 or something Shoot, was the buy yeah, box. Yeah, that's so. definitely a big And then Rock premium. Band, anything Rock Band 4, usually pretty good on Amazon, yeah? Yeah, very good on Amazon. So this, I paid 160 and on Amazon it'll go for about 250. So making 90 bucks there. And then this, bad boy. This is bananas, guys. Holy grail, Shadowless, Shadowless. Charizard. So to the right of the hollow, there's no shadow. That's second print. First edition Shadowless was first, then Shadowless, then Unlimited. Unlimited is what everybody has if they have this card, pretty much. This day was so much fun. Probably the most successful Pokemon Pursuit episode so far. We wound up with a Shadowless Charizard, a Shadowless E3 Pikachu, tons of money added to the Pokebank, and some really solid leads on items we might get in the collection in the future. This series is just getting started. I've never been this excited for anything we've ever done in the five years on YouTube. So subscribe if you like it. Click here to check out the last video in the series or click here if you're from the future to check out the next video that's already out. Thank you guys for watching. Bartle do crap, mo stank, mo licky, chippy dippy. Bye.